So this is the seventh question related to SOP three variable K map simplification. So we have the Boolean expression given. It is three variable expression, and it is given in terms of min terms. So there is something interesting about this question because it includes all the cells that are present in a three variable K map. See zero one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the cells are present. So we'll mark all these cells as one. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, all the cells are there. So the group which we can form here is one big octet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See. One big octet. Okay. Now, if we want to find the common variable here, see nothing is common here. See, in the vertical side there is nothing common. B complement, C complement, B complement, C, B, C, B, C complement. In the horizontal side also there is nothing common in this group. So, octet. It's nothing complement, uh, nothing common. A complement A. So here, what you have to uh, do is that you have to visualize that it is same as one is and with each other. See one. Just and it with one. All the uh, horizontal and vertical components. See. It is same when one is ended with something we get the same result isn't it so the same technique will be using so when you see that you will find that the common thing here is BC the simplified boolean expression is one okay this so here all the cells of the kmap are involved in the group formation one big octet is formed and we have one as common and that is this simplified boolean expression okay so it's a very interesting question because all the cells were involved in group formation they were part of the group and we got this result okay So this is the eighth question related to three variable SOP KMAP simplification. So we have this Boolean expression which is given in terms of min terms. So we have the format of the KMAP. So we'll directly map the uh, Boolean expression and we'll mark the cells as one with these uh, values one five six seven. Okay. So one. 5 okay 6 and 7 so here how can we form the group okay here we can combine these two cells to form a pair and we can combine these two cells to form another pair two groups group one and group two okay so here like this cells are present like this so here if we pair these two cells it is possible this group is possible there is no problem with that but if we form these this group then this cell and this cell will be left alone so and if we still form these groups okay like this then this becomes a redundant group it's no longer required to form this group this is a redundant group redundant group Okay, a redundant group is a group in which all the cells are part of some other group. Okay, the cell elements are shared by other groups. 
so such a group in which all the cells are shared by other groups or are part of other groups and that becomes a redundant group so this group is no longer it's not required to form it is possible it is within the rules but it is not required because these two groups are necessary to cover all the cells okay so two groups are formed two pairs so first group this group 1 if you see 1 1 so is a here it is b c here it is b c complement b c b c complement and a if we see in the horizontal side we have a common a is common in both the cells in the vertical side we have b common p so it is group 1 is ab then group 1 is ab then we have group 2 group 2 is like this this one 1 1 here we have a complement then we have a and here we have b complement c a complement a b complement c the horizontal and vertical components so you see in the horizontal side we have nothing common the horizontal side we have nothing common but in the vertical side we have b complement c common in both the cells so group 2 it has b complement c as common so the simplified boolean expression of this is f is equal to ab or b complement c this okay so this is the simplified boolean expression of this given uh, three variable boolean expression okay so this is the ninth question uh, which we are going to discuss on uh, three variable k map sop type uh, simplification so we have this uh, boolean expression which is given and uh, it is given uh, it is of three variables sop type as you can see it is a bar b bar c a bar b c bar a bar b c a b c so uh, for simplicity we will write the min term version also in terms of min term values so it is a bar b bar c it is 10011 1, 1. this is 010 which is 2 this is 011 which is 3 and this is 111 which is 7 so 1 2 3 7 the min term values so we have the standard three variable sop k map format ready here cell values decimal values are written in small so it it saves a lot of time and we have the uh, horizontal and vertical variable components also mentioned so simply we'll map it 1 2 3 7 so 1 2 3 7 these cells will be marked as 1 because it is sop type now we will have to form the groups so here there is no possibility of a quad or octet we can only form pairs so i think three pairs will be formed to cover all the variables let's see this is one pair this this is one pair and this is the third one third pair so if you see this cell is shared by all the other groups so this does not become a redundant group a redundant group is one in which all the cells involved in that group are shared by other groups or are part of other groups here only a single cell is part of all the groups so that does not make 
uh, a redundant group okay so don't be confused about that so group let's say this is group 1 uh, this is uh, group 2 this is group 3 okay group 1 group 1 we have like this 1 1 this is B bar C and B C here we have A bar so here A bar is common in the horizontal side this here A bar is common in the horizontal side the vertical side we have B bar C B C C is common in the vertical side so for group 1 we have A bar C as common ok group 1 done next is group Two. Group two. Okay. One one. B C A bar A. So in group two, in the horizontal side we have nothing common. A bar A. Okay, nothing common. In the vertical side we have B C common in both the cells. Okay. In both the cells we have B C common BC here in this group 2 so in group 2 we have BC as common ok group 2 done next is group 3 group 3 this these two cells so again A bar the horizontal component and here it is BC and BC bar this group so group 3 in the horizontal side we have A bar common in both the cells and the vertical side we have BC BC bar so B is common so for group 3 this is group 3 ok group 3 we have a bar b as common so the simplified boolean expression of this given expression is the simplified version is a bar c plus b c plus a bar b this is the simplified version so here we had three pairs one cell element shared by all the groups and we found the common variables in the three groups and this is the simplified boolean expression okay so here we have discussed i think around nine questions related to sop three variable k map so i would like you to please watch how groups are formed in different ways groups are formed in the three variable k maps so the more you watch these videos you will get acquainted with how groups can be formed in a k map then how common variables are determined by you know uh, looking at the horizontal and vertical cell components and then the simplification technique so always have the K map in its standard format take care of the MSB and LSB okay what is gi given as MSB in the question what is LSB here in the question always A was the MSB C was the LSB so we had the K map in this format A on left hand side the horizontal side BC and the vertical side always mark the cells with its decimal values 0 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 always take care of this factor 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 it is not 1 0 so these are the few things if you take care of you will have the k map ready in the standard format you will find the min term values write it in that format it will, it will solve this in a matter of a few seconds maximum one minute maximum one minute okay so here we have discussed nine questions related to three variable 
SOP KMAP. So similarly, we'll be discussing questions related to four variable KMAP also. A lot of questions we'll discuss. We'll find out in different ways of uh, group formations, how to find the common variables of each group. So we'll be solving questions related to that also. Four variable KMAP. SOP then we'll move on to POS product of sums okay so I hope you like these videos and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much